for example take hydrogen combines with nitrogen and it forms ammonia hydrogen combines with oxygen and it forms water okay now nitrogen and oxygen they will combine with each other and forms into o3 let us apply this uh, let us check this uh, law of equivalent proportion with this example hydrogen is combining with nitrogen and forms ammonia that is one uh, sorry three parts of in nh3 three parts of hydrogen is combining with the uh, 14 parts of nitrogen okay and in h2o uh two parts of hydrogen is combining with the uh, 16 parts of oxygen okay if you write for one part for one part of hydrogen how many parts of nitrogen is combining means this set this three this side one part of hydrogen is combining with the uh, 14 by 3 parts of nitrogen and one part of oxygen is combining with the uh, 16 by 2 parts of oxygen that means one part of hydrogen is combining with how many parts of nitrogen 14 by 3 parts and one part of hydrogen is combining with how many parts of oxygen that is 16 by 2 parts that means with one part of nitrogen what is the ratio of nitrogen and oxygen means they are combining with the one part of hydrogen in 14 by 3 parts of nitrogen and 16 by 2 parts of oxygen the ratio is 14 by 3 is to 16 by 2 If we simplify this one, then we will get uh, simply cross multiply 14 to the 28 is to 16 to the 32. That means with one part of hydrogen, how many parts of nitrogen and oxygen they are combining? What is the ratio of nitrogen and oxygen combining with one part of hydrogen? The ratio is 28 is to 32. With one part of hydrogen, the ratio of nitrogen and oxygen combining is 28 is to 32. Now. when it comes to nitrogen and oxygen what is the ratio they are combining here means let us check here into in n2o3 nitrogen's mass is 14 for two nitrogen its mass is 28 parts and what is the weight of one atomic uh, one atom of oxygen it is 16 then 16 is a 48 so what is the ratio of nitrogen and oxygen with which with each other they are combining they are combining in 28 is to 48 ratio and similarly for with one part of hydrogen what is the ratio with which they are combining they are combining with uh, sorry 16 3 is 48 uh, somewhere i made uh, here 16 3 is 48 sorry not 32 16 3 is 48 so with one part of hydrogen how uh, uh, how what is the ratio of nitrogen and oxygen they are combining the ratio of nitrogen and oxygen that they are combining with one part of oxygen is uh, 28 is to 48 similarly the ratio of nitrogen and oxygen when they eat they combine with each other is also same that is 28 is to 48 so if that is uh, this law of equivalent proportions moving further towards uh, the gay lussac's law of gaseous volumes if two gases are combining to form a compound if two gases are combining to form a compound then the ratio of their volumes the ratio of this the, the ratio of the volumes of these two combining gases with each other and also with that of the product the ratio of these two combining gases and the product is always a simple whole number ratio let us take one example and uh, see more detailly what is this law actually for example let us take uh, hydrogen and chlorine they are combining in ratio 1 is to 1 and forming 2 liters of or uh, 2 parts by volume of hcl is formed that is one part of hydrogen or you can say 1 liter of hydrogen is combining with 1 liter of chlorine and forming 2 liters of this product that means they ratio what is the ratio in this reaction the ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 2 they bear a simple whole number ratio for example if i take 2 liters of hydrogen then 2 liters of uh, chlorine obviously how many liters of uh, uh, hcl will be formed here then 4 liters of hcl will be formed 
so this is uh, uh, the gay lucex law for gases volume hope uh, you like my video and please if you have any queries don't forget to put in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share this video maximum with your friends thanks for watching have a nice day